CP, based on the Heat series, but really everything in totality, yeah. what do you think the biggest need for the Knicks this offseason is? So I, I would just put it in three things, three things. Number one, three-point shooting, badly. Uh, in the regular season, they were a bad three-point shooting team. They have been that way since Tibbs got here. Uh, they're just not an efficient three-point shooting team, and that carried over into the playoffs. I had always wondered if a team like the Knicks, who are near the bottom of the league in effective field goal percentage, could have a good offense into the playoffs. It was able to work against the Cavs, but against the Heat, uh, it was just too many bricklayers, man. They have to address the need uh, for shooting. Uh, secondly, I think they have to figure out offensively whether or not this is the right system for the personnel that they have. Because along with the, the bottom of the league shooting numbers, the Knicks for the last three years are also in le near last in almost every passing statistic. They don't move the ball well. They don't generate enough assists. And so you, you have to figure out, is this offense right for the personnel that we have? Do we have the right decision makers, high IQ players that can make this work? Jalen Brunson certainly has proven to, to be that, but Julius Randle has been shaky in that regard. So I think that needs to be addressed. And then lastly, I think they need to go out and, and get another wing defender. Uh, Josh Hart, Quentin Grimes, they certainly play uh, hard. They play physical. They're good defenders, but I think at times they are undersized at that position. And so I think the Knicks need to go out there and try to get a 3 and D wing. They don't grow on trees, but I think that's what they need to address either in the draft or free agency. And, John, to seeing this Nick team across the season, but particularly in the postseason as you did, what would you do if you're Leon Rose? You know, put your, put your team president cap on for a second. What would your, 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 excuse me, your biggest priority be if you were running the Knicks? Again, I agree with CP. I think with Brunson, they have the star that's going to draw – extra attention from opposing defenses and they need the right compliments for him. That includes one, you know, shooting. Um, and then two, maybe a, a, a sort of a four or five guy who can, who can distribute the ball, right? Like if he's going to draw that extra defender, um, who's he passing to? And is that guy going to make the right decisions? Like you would like a, a, a Draymond Green who could shoot. And obviously that's, that's, you know, as, as good as it gets when it comes from, uh, from a four or five. Um, but maybe Randall isn't the best compliment, right? Like you saw a lot in that series where two came to Brunson, the ball moved, it got to Julius Randall and it stopped. Stop. Right. And sometimes, sometimes he'd score out of that, you know, he'd ISO and score, but there were other times where, you know, he'd take a bad shot or he'd just stop it and, and they, they'd get a, they'd, end up late in the clock and get and not get a good shot. So I think that the it has to come in a in a, a mentality, the the sort of you know 0.5 mentality that a lot of teams talk about where you know once it starts moving it can't stop. Right. And Thibodeau talks that all the time. Like you ask him, he said, yeah, trust the pass. The ball's got to move, but that didn't translate to the to the guys on the floor. Yeah. I would say with Randall, I don't think that was like the, every time he got the ball, he had tunnel vision. I thought he moved it pretty well for stretches of the postseason. I, I think the issue was also on the other side of the ball where he wasn't giving you 100% when he was rotating, um, when he was getting out to shooters each time he was on the floor. Sometimes it was there, sometimes it wasn't. But interesting uh, to see what happens with Julius Reno. We'll get to that in a bit. But one thing I'm curious about is like, do they just go a might see a minor move as a way to improve this roster, or do you look at a bigger move as a way to improve the roster? Because either way, you have to improve. I don't know if you if you fall backwards again, just like you did after making the playoffs against the Hawks. I don't think that's going to sit well with everybody. So you got to improve. And I know that at least you know internally, they, there's been you know discussions, internal discussions about some bigger names, players who could help with shooting certainly um but would, it would cost a lot to get those players uh, i don't know exactly what they're thinking is right now but those scenarios have, had been discussed 